Good afternoon, Gilmore Hawks. This is Mr. St. Peter. I hope everyone is doing well at home. I am here today on Facebook to read you the book, The Energy Bus for Kids, a story about staying positive and overcoming challenges, which we are in the midst, of, which we are in the midst of right now. It was Monday, and Mondays were never good for George. He woke up tired and grumpy as usual. He had watched too much television last night. He got hooked on a video game. He went to bed too late and had another fight with his sister, Georgette. His mother was upset because he was late for the bus and still hadn't eaten his breakfast. It's the most important meal of the day, she said. George knew she was right, but he was too tired and had to hurry to catch the bus. As George ran to the bus stop with his heavy backpack, he could see bus number 11 pulling away. George was too upset was so upset he wanted to cry, but he didn't. He just put his head down and wondered what else could go wrong today. Luckily, as the bus driver drove away and saw George, stop, as she saw George, stopped the bus and yelled out the window, I wouldn't, leave, I wouldn't leave you. Come on, get on the bus. The bus driver wasn't his usual bus driver. George had never seen her before. She said her name was Joy, and she had the biggest smile he had ever seen. He told, he told her his name was George, and he sat down in the first seat. What's got you down, and what's with the frown, Joy asked. Everything is going wrong, George said. That's okay, George. You're on my bus now. I call it the energy bus. Sit down, and I'm going to teach you some rules that will take you on a positive ride through life. Are you ready to learn the first rule, Joy asked? If you are, say yes three times. George and all the other kids on the bus shouted, yes, yes, yes. Joy told the kids on the bus the first rule. Rule number one, create a positive vision. When you are on the bus going to school, think about having a great day. When you're on the bus going home, picture yourself having a great night. When you think about your future, imagine yourself accompanying your goals and dreams, said Joy. If you can see it, you can create it. If you have a vision, then you also have the power to make it happen. As George waited for, the cl for class to begin, he thought about what Joy had said about creating a positive vision. He imagined himself getting an A-plus on his spelling test today and hitting a home run in, base in a, his baseball game on Saturday. Then he remembered his teacher telling him the importance of writing down your goals and drawing pictures of them. So George took out a piece of paper and drew a picture of his spelling test with a big A-plus on top. He also drew a picture of himself hitting a home run. George knew the pictures would help him remember his positive visions, so he folded his drawings and put them in his pocket. Great idea, students. Great idea, kids. To put down, write down your goals. That afternoon, as George walked on the bus, Joy gave him a big smile and asked him to do to sit in his seat again so they could talk. How was school? She asked. Did you have a better day? It was a little better, answered George. I felt happier. And I'm pretty sure I got at least an A on my spelling test. But after that, I had to deal with a bunch of challenges. I tripped in the hallway while walking to class. I couldn't find my math workbook. A few of the mean kids were doing their usual mean things. I got hit in the face with a soccer ball and had to go to the nurse. And just, it just wasn't a good day, said George. I understand, said Joy. We all face challenges in life. That's why it's so important to learn the next rule. If you want to know what it is, say yes three times with me. George and everyone yet, everyone on the bus shouted, yes, yes, yes. Rule number two, fuel your ride with positive energy. What's positive energy, asked George. It's the positive thoughts and emotions you think and feel and share with others, said Joy. It, it is smiles, laughter, gratitude, trust, faith, joy, happy thoughts, and beliefs. If you fuel up with positive energy, you will, have to power, you will have the power to overcome challenges and achieve your goals. But what if I feel negative, asked George. Well, that's the thing, George. You possess the greatest power in the world, said Joy. It's the power to choose to be positive instead of negative. Just like choosing to be nice, you can choose to be positive. So, what do you say we fuel up with lots of positive energy on our way home today, asked Joy. Yes, 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 George and all the other students shouted. The children cheered so loud it shook the bus. 
Then, as the energy bus approached George's bus stop, Joy told George to think of a success from his day and share it with his parents at dinner or bedtime. She said his success of the day could be one thing that made him smile and feel great. The next morning, George stepped onto the bus feeling more positive than ever. Someone is looking very happy today, Joy said, smiling at George. I feel like my tank is full of positive energy, George said with a big smile on his face. I love it, George. Make, make sure you keep filling your tank with positive energy throughout the day at school. She gave him a few tips to remember. Smile big, be thankful, and fuel yourself with positive beliefs. Then she asked George to repeat after her. I am ready for a great day. I believe in myself. I trust that I will accomplish my goals and dreams. The energy bus pulled up to the school and George stepped off, ready to take on the day. As he walked towards the building, he heard Joy cheer. Remember, George, if you fuel up with positive energy, you can go as far as you can dream. Dream big, George. You would think that George stepped onto that bus that afternoon full of positive energy, but he didn't. Instead, he walked on looking very sad and upset. What's the matter? What happened to my positive energy guy? Joy asked. I did everything you said. I fueled up with positive energy, but that didn't stop the bullies at school from teasing me and embarrassing me, George said with tears in his eyes. I'm sorry you had to deal with this, said Joy. I was bullied when I was a kid and it didn't feel good. Joy then raised her voice for the entire bus to hear and said, Listen up, kids. Don't be a bully. Don't be mean. Don't say hurtful things to others. It will take you down the negative road of life. Instead, choose to be kind and travel down the positive road. Joy then turned to George and said, Bullies are just one of the many types of negative people you will face in life. Some may say negative things about you. Others feel so bad about themselves, they try to make you feel bad too. Rather than driving their own bus, they are trying to ruin everyone else's ride. That's why I always want you to remember the next rule, said Joy as she picked up the piece of paper from the dashboard and held it up for George and everyone to see. Rule number three, no bullies allowed. This means you stay strong and positive and know that bullies can drain your positive energy if you don't, if you don't let their negativity into your mind. Negativity comes in many forms, but positivity is much more powerful than negativity. The key is to become more positive the key is to become more positive than the negativity you face. I understand, George said as, as the energy bus approached his bus stop. He walked off the bus realizing that he needed to be more positive than the bullies were negative. He also knew he needed a plan to neutralize the bullies and hoped Joy would have some ideas for him tomorrow. The next morning when George got off the bus, he took his seat near Joy. Joy smiled at him and told him she had been thinking all night about how to deal with bullies at school. Good, because I need a plan, said George. Well, I have a plan, said Joy. First, you avoid them. Do your best to stay away from any bullies that try to zap your positive energy. Second, when they are mean to you, confront them and say, you are bullying me. Stop bullying me and walk away. Then, picture yourself driving your bus and shutting the door on them so they can't get on can't get on and their words can't affect your ride. Third, tell your parents, teacher, and principal, and of course assistant principal, no one should have to deal with bullying. It's wrong. Okay, I'll try my best, said George as he walked off the bus toward the building where the bullies waited for him in the hallway. When the bullies saw George, they began teasing him, but George was ready. He stayed positive, told himself to be strong, and told them to stop bullying him. Then George picked himself, shutting the bus door on them and keeping them off his bus as he walked away. He could hear the teasing continue, but he didn't let it bother him. In the past, he allowed them on his bus, but not today. Today, he kept them off his bus and felt more positive than ever. The minute the school bell rang, he ran to the bus to tell Joy. It worked, it worked, he cheered. I'm so happy for you, said Joy. Positive energy is a powerful thing. And do you know what the most powerful form of positive energy in the world is, asked Joy? I don't know, said George. What? It's love, and it's so powerful that it's part of the next rule I want to share with you. Rule number four, love your passengers. This means 
You become a powerful force of positive energy and share love with your passengers. Who are my passengers, asked George. They are, at, they are your fellow students, friends, teachers, siblings, family, and the people you interact with every day, especially Mr. St. Peter. Love everybody, George. Be kind. Help others. Make a difference. When you show kindness to others, you attract kindness like a magnet. You surround yourself with so much positive energy that negativity doesn't even affect you, Joyce said. Most importantly, when you put love into action, you change the world one loving act at a time. The energy bus then pulled up to George's stop, and he walked away from the bus. And as he walked away from the bus, he waved to Joy and decided he was going to start showing kindness and love to his passengers at home. That night, George spent extra time petting his dog. He was kinder to his sister and told his mom he loved the dinner she made. The next morning, he made sure to wake up on time and eat his breakfast, knowing that, mom, knowing that that would make his mom happy. So think about what you can do at home during this break of school that can show positive vibes and love to your family members. At school, George smiled more and encouraged those who were having a bad day. He shared his lunch with a girl who forgot her lunch at home. He was extra kind to a girl that everyone teased and made her smile. He helped a boy who dropped his books in the hallway. George was so kind and positive that the bully stayed away from him and he, and he was surrounded by other positive kids. Nice listening, boys and girls. Getting towards the end. When George walked on the bus that afternoon with a big smile on his face, he told Joy that he knew the next rule of the energy bus. What's that, George? She asked. It's to enjoy the ride, he said. He had learned that when you follow the energy bus rules, you will, you will enjoy the ride a whole lot more. Rule number five, enjoy the ride. George then pulled out a picture he had made in our class and gave it to Joy. She looked at the picture and smiled. It was a picture that listed the five rules of the energy bus. Number one, create a, create a positive vision. Number two, fuel your ride with positive energy. Number three, no bullies allowed. Number four, love your passengers. And number five, enjoy the ride. I made one picture for you and one for our school, said George. I shared the picture with our principal and now she's going to share the rules with all the teachers and students. Well, George, I will display this picture proudly on my bus for all my future passengers to see, and I will tell them about you and how you chose to fuel your life with positive energy. Joy already knew what others would find out. George was no longer just a passenger on, a bu on the bus. He had become a positive driver who would change the world. George would share the energy bus rules with others through his words and actions, and they would learn what Joy taught him. The energy bus will surely take you on the ride of your life. Beep, beep, the end. There is another small section of this book, which I'll read to you in a couple days, a message from George. I'll read that to you next time. Thank you so much, boys and girls, for listening. And parents, hopefully this helped a little bit. Um, don't forget, boys and girls, to keep doing some academics at home and checking out the websites that your teachers and Miss O'Brien and I have been sending to you through email. Have a great day.